people who've actually slept with their step-sibling or sibling. How did it happen and how was your relationship affected? My older brother dated our older stepsister. He was 15-16 she was 30-32. My mum was livid about it. Her dad pretended it wasn't happening. She was a bit of a sugar mama. Bought him lots of nice stuff. Flew him places. She took him to parties and did drugs with etc. Slept with him. My mum thinks she dated my brother just to spite her. I don't know how valid that is. Wouldn't surprise me. But my mum was also a piece of work. And to get back at her and her husband for allowing it. She slept with her stepson. Don't worry. This one's prob's gonna get buried underneath joke replies but. I accidentally boned my half sister while we were in high school. Basically we had never known each other beforehand and we met in high school she confessed that she had feelings for me and we started dating. About one year in we started having sx. Fast forward two years and we graduate. Then she introduces me to her parents and there I meet my father who I had only known from photos. Since he and my mum got divorced when I was born. That's when I found out my then girlfriend was my half sister. I had a friend in high school that dated this girl for like 6 months before their parents decided to randomly get married. They, the parents, only dated for like a month. A few months later he is trying to set me up with his sister and bragging that she gives good head. It was very weird. Not me but my close family. My grandmother had 3 husbands. 4 children with all different dads. My mother's dad was sexually abusive and had been sleeping with my aunt, mom's older sister, they continued that relationship for years. My grandma divorced him and he married my aunt. So my aunt was also step grandma and my mother's dad was also uncle. When he finally died I remember my mother saying I don't want to go to his funeral but I really think I should be there to support my step mom. That woman has always had a warped sense of humor. I love it. What did I just read? My Phil dated his stepdaughter first then when they broke up he met and eventually married her mom. Needless to say it is one of my wife's family's more awkward stories. Dad dated a woman. He dated a lot of women so it became normal. She had a daughter. We got drunk at a party. Hooked up. Real boy meets world tea. Then they got married. And that's when we cut it out. Then they got divorced. And I'm still not boning her anymore. Mum dated a guy. Guy had a son same age as me. We hated our parents and slept together. Had a fun time. Broke up due to him using drugs and me not dealing with it. Both are married, to other people, and happy. We don't talk even through we see each other at family gatherings after our parents got married. Edit to clarify. He was on drugs for years. Lied to me over and over that he was clean and he wasn't. I was always trying to support him but he just didn't want to clean up yet. He did clean up for his wife. Ask me after quarantine. Ah yes. Only a short few days into quarantines and we have already arrived here. Slept with my former sister-in-law. Is that close enough? How did it happen? She hated my ex-wife her sister. My ex-wife cheated on me. We were drinking together about 6 months after it ended and she said you should fck me to get even. Relationship didn't at all change. We just know each other a little better than we used to. Both dating others now and it's like it never happened. It. Well. This blew up. No the ex doesn't know. She'd kill both of us. Not even joking. I've already started pro-gaming so if people could start sharing stories before I run out of lube. No serious tag. That's the best part. My dad's brother married my mom's sister. My parents somehow didn't really meet until several months after the wedding. My cousins and I are as close to incest as it gets without actually crossing blood relatives. Just for fun. My siblings have a different dad than me so I actually look more related to those cousins than I do my own siblings. I just try to not explain that to people but it definitely is weird when it gets out. Edit. I should explain it's only weird because people get confused. 
until they figure out it's just two sisters married two brothers. My parents are divorced now anyway so it rarely comes up. More if we have a get together and a newcomer mentions it's funny I look like my cousins and my siblings and I don't look related pretty much. Just joined reddit and one of the first things I've seen is this. Ro. Edit. Holy shit. I haven't been on the site for more than two days but here I am. Thanks for the charm and silver things. Our parents met at our wedding. Mom was a widow. My father-in-law divorced. So we weren't step-siblings when we got married. But it still freaks people out. Confuse the hell out of our kids. Especially when I'd beg them to call me auntie when we went into stores. They were the devil's own in stores. My girlfriends, from 13-21, uncle hooked up and married my mother, in two months from meeting, when we were 17. We were both ficking pissed off. Yes we did break up for about 7 months because every time we went anywhere people were giving us shti for being kissing cousins. We got back together and married at 19 but moved and went NC with them until our daughter was born. They had divorced by then anyways. It was weird. She just kept bending over a lot and saying step brother and asking me to help her with really easy stuff. Then I swear I blinked and she was bouncing on my cock yelling this is wrong but I love it. If people found out you slept with your step sibling you would get some stares. Do half sisters count? It was the bottom half. If that makes a difference. My sister and I are both SX workers. There have been numerous occasions when we've tag teamed a client. We never tell them. And I'm not really sure why. Because they'd probably pay more for that. Anyway. It's always the most hilarious thing ever and we both have to try really hard to not laugh. To be clear. T and I don't have any contacts during these sessions. Sorry if that disappoints anyone. Usually one of us with put out tits in a dude's face while the other takes care of him downstairs. Simple. I lost my virginity to my third cousin by blood. Had no idea we were related until 6 months into the relationship. Open to questions though but that's about the closest I can get to what OP asked. I hate that bitch now though. Exclamation point. My mom had a best friend. She died. Adopted her son who is older than me. I was 8. He was 18. And I idolized him. He took me shopping. Out to eat. And just hung W me like a brother. I lived W my father. My mom dies. We both grow up. Run into him when I was 19 and that was a fun weekend. Now I'm much older. We still talk but we never talk about it. All that free PRN hub time. Somebody was bound to ask this question. Obligatory not me. Or even quite step sibling. But still a fun story. One of my dad's best friends, let's call him Rob, was partially crazy. Admitted to a mental hospital briefly for running around town in tighty what is and trying to get into his ex-wife's house. I grew up around this guy. So it was great. He's dead now though. So the fun times are over. Anyways. Rob and his ex did have a daughter. Well. His brother and his bro's wife split at some point. And they have a son. Rob's nephew. One thing obviously leads to another and Rob and his ex-sister-in-law get together. And you guessed it. Get married. So now Rob's nephew is now also his stepson. And his daughter is also now stepdaughter to her aunt. Edit. I'm sticking with the nonsensical writing. Rob would appreciate it. I had a seizure trying to figure this out. My story is a bit different. My step cousin showed me her boobs one time. Me and her were chilling in my pool, family wasn't there. She just asked if I wanted to see her boobs. I said sure. I think I was 14 and she was 13. Me and her have always been close and we can always talk to each other which is awesome because we both have depression and anxiety so we can have similar situations sometimes. I don't see how people can get upset or mad at you for sleeping with a step sibling. 1. You're not related. 2. If you're sleeping with each other then that means you have some attraction to them. 
3. Combining one stroke two oh so it's normal to be attracted to other people you are not related to. People be trippin'. It's not their fault their parents hooked up. I can already tell that this comment section is about to be mixed by the true stories and the memes. So people really are this bored during quarantine. Way too many branches on the family trees for me to keep up here. My cousin's stepbrother's mother-in-law's widowed uncle's wife's. I was gonna write something. But it's unrelated so. Well my single mother moved in with a guy when my brother and I were 16 stroke 17. Mom never married him but I guess he was a common law stepfather. My brother ended up married to his daughter and had two kids. Not a big deal as they weren't related but still kinda odd at the time. If you listen closely. My cousin-in-law. Adopted. African. He used to play mommy and daddy. And our games got serious real quick. We used to kiss. A lot. We were 8 or 9 at the time, and were just mimicking what we saw on TV. The whole family knew, but never really cared. They did make jokes about it during Christmas, when we were older. Our current relationship is awkward but pleasant. We get along well, but you can't undo some memories of having your entire family laugh to you. I didn't talk to her between the ages of 10 and 17. She's a year younger, because I watched Harold and Kumar go to White Castle and realized how weird it was to have a relationship inside a family. I slipped on a loose roller skirt and ended up naked in a 69 position with my sister. I was so horrified I immediately tried to get off. Didn't even see it coming. Lost my virginity to my foster brother. We were both foster kids and his room was next to mine. We shared a bathroom. The foster parents found out and shipped him away where he joined Jobs Corps. The foster mom tried to get him in trouble by telling my caseworker. Some detectives showed up to my school to ask if this was true and I lied and said it wasn't. He was technically 18 and they were trying to pin statutory a pay on him. I wasn't dumb. I wasn't going to let them ruin his entire life so I just denied everything. And into him years after I aged out of foster care. I was I think 22. Back in 2012. We hung out for the day. By then I had two of my own children. Told him it was good I never had his babies. Made the meeting kind of awkward. I'm kind of an awkward person so. It gave me enough credit hours to graduate from the University of Alabama. I'll save you guys some time with this one. We f-ked an undertaker through mankind off hell in a cell and he plummeted 16 feet through an announcer's table. It was years of s all abuse and it literally f-ked up my life. I don't talk to him and have made it clear to my entire family that I don't even want to hear his name in conversation. Huge family drama ongoing years later. I hope he does an awful death and burns in hell. Former child welfare worker here. It ends very 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 poorly. Additionally. It's a shitty ton of paperwork for me. So think about that before you ruin family game night. She got stuck in the washing machine. And I saw the perfect opportunity. When I was in high school. My parents went on a cruise for their anniversary and let me stay home. When they came back. They announced that they had met another couple on the cruise and had fallen in love with each other's spouses. They all got divorced. My mom and dad got remarried with the husband and wife. Respectively. And then I find out that my step parents had a son. And we're all going to live in the same house together. I was pretty understandably pissed at the time and my step brother was kind of an ass to me. But then one day I wake up to the dude f king kissing me. Long story short. There was a shitload of drama and on again off again bullshit. A big scare where we found out my mom and his dad had a one night stand like 16 years prior and thought we might be blood related, we're not. But we finally figured out how to make it work. Married for 20 years. Okay what? I had sx with my step ladder. Never knew my real ladder. PRN companies looking for new plot. Hey. The church would like to know your location. 
my aunt's second husband f kid her 16 year old daughter from first husband. Honestly not sure about details. It was a dark family secret my mom told me sometime before she died. This was like 32 years ago, they are still married and apparently finally talked about it 15 years after the fact. Family is f kid up. My little sister often climbed into my bed when she was a toddler. Then. On my 7th birthday. She woke me up by peeing on me. That what you're looking for? Deaths need serious tag. Well it all started when I broke both my arms. NGL I'm excited to read this thread. Oh username LMAO. I had sx with a friend of mine and then less than 24 hours later my brother did. So that was awkward for a while. Eskimo brothers for real sees. I knew a guy. He and his stepsister didn't grow up together. They didn't see one another often at family events. As he described it. Their encounters got progressively more flirty. They mutually decided to go for it. She was eager for him and he was too. He struggled over it. A group of friends gave him a lot of shti as we itemized the cons. He vacillated between repulsion and desire. And wasn't sure what he would ultimately do. Within a few days he texted us a picture of stepsister written in lipstick on a female's bare chest. He freaked out after. And felt really ashamed. Within a week they were at the same family party and she jumped on him in the bathroom. He had a pretty serious panic attack and went on some meds. Xanax. It wasn't all that serious. He settled down after they talked and decided never to do it or talk about it again. And he shared his Xanax. That was fun. Help me big bro. I am sleeping with my brother-in-law's sister. We've had two kids. She and I had a one night stand. Didn't know she was my stepsister until I found out that my father secretly got married to her mother. We never mentioned it again. Can I just say what assholes Wiles parents are? There's a startling amount of stories of parents marrying their kids so's parent. Like WTF. Well. After I pushed a kid out of a tower window. Things went downhill. I got my hand chopped off. It's okay. I have a gold one now. My kids are all dead. And some crazy chick is besieging my home with a dragon. Banjo music intensifies. Well. We didn't have sx. We just. Slept in the same bed because we're really close. He's scared to sleep alone so I used to let him. That didn't affect our relationship. Made it better. Actually. Shout out to my brother. Such a creative guy.